So go even at this range, can you jab me if I do that duck back? If I crouch. If, even if you crouch? Okay. So, look, I, I'll go ahead and just get used to dodging my jabs, okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. And now I'll aim down. Oh, that's way longer than I thought, actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now I'll crouch. Ready? Yep. Go ahead. <laughs> now, this is a little bit of unfair advantage because I'm using the fastest class against the slowest class sure. in terms of like strafing and jabbing you. Oh, are there speed differences for the classes? I've been needing to check on that. Yes, there are. Okay. Vanguard's the fastest, footman is the, the medium, nice and slower. Gotcha. Now this also... Uh, is a uh, man-at-arms faster than Vanguard? Um, in terms of walking, apparently? Yeah, Maybe with not a one-hander. running around. Oh, gotcha. But even then, I think it's a very close race. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Now... The thing that I want to show you next is geometry when it comes to jabs, which mm -hmm. is a big thing because even as a two-hander, you're going to want to jab eventually. Um, mm -hmm. And it's that this game does have geometry to it. Uh, and what, what do I mean by that? Imagine, you know, both of the players are standing parallel, which we are right now. A jab has the highest chance of landing when it has the longest range it can, right? To reach the enemy, let's just assume a jab is one unit of length, right? If we are mm -hmm. one unit of length away, the jab must be perpendicular to you to be able to hit you. Does that make any sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A 90 yeah. degree angle must be made. Wait, over here. If I turned yeah. that jab slightly at an angle, it would not reach you because it would no longer be, it, it would need to be longer than a unit to reach you, assuming a mm -hmm. unit of length was the exact horizontal distance between us on the x-axis. A lot of big words, but the idea is yeah, basically makes sense. that if I'm aiming like this or this, my jab is going to be shorter than this. Right. In terms of its ability to reach you. So when you're jabbing people, you actually have to get to their level to jab them properly. That's why when you go ahead and dodge my jabs again, that's why when I do this, I'm not able to reach you. But when I do this, I am able to reach you. Make sense? Gotcha. Because now I don't have to do a perfect 45 degree angle. I can mm -hmm. get down and do a perpendicular line to reach you. So that's the principle behind jabbing and how it works. And this also applies to weapons too, obviously. If you straight, you know, if you stab straight, it's going to have more horizontal range than if you stab slightly down or slightly up. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, do you think, um, so one thing I've been, I learned it and now I'm starting to unlearn it because high tier players are punishing it. But the concept of I get hit, I'm gonna run forward and jab you. Um, I've noticed better players punish that just about every single time. Yeah, we we, we would dodge it or yeah. um, or we'll just block it. Um, mm -hmm. So unlike the other games in this game, they, tr they give you jabs to break initiative. So if I hit you, right, then I have initiative. If I, if I successfully hit you, I mean, mm -hmm. like if I land an attack then I can combo and hit you again. Except for the fact that you can jab, right? Um, so that is relatively a safe option against most players, but you need to be in range. If you're not in range, forget it. Right. Got it? Right, right, right. I've definitely run up and not even gotten close to people for jabs yeah, and still so, gone for the jab. So don't do it if you're not going to be in range. It's not worth right. it then. At right, least right. to me. I don't think it's worth it. Um, that's okay. my answer to that. So I can simply just give you an example, right? Like, go ahead and, uh, I don't know, try and jab me after this hit. Oh, you yeah. want to hit though, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, and um... with this tiny knife, it's possible to... <laughs> right, right, right. With this right. tiny knife, I can totally get away. So are you, you're, you move faster sidestepping than backwards on any class, or...? Um, no. Okay, is it the same speed then? Yeah. Okay. It's just, when I'm not, yeah, okay. like, I just find it easier to hit you with that specific combo by turning to the left slightly. Right. To drag my I, weapon. I, I definitely have noticed the same thing when I, like, 
move my, like, when I'm not even looking at the enemy, it's easier to dodge jabs, even if I'm just still moving sidestepping to the right. Mm -hmm. Well, um, when it comes to, like, jabs in between uh, combos, that's pretty much it. I think uh, your best option is to, uh, if, you're, if they're close, obviously, then you can get it off. But if they're not, then I would not go for it. Instead, mm -hmm. I would just... Be like, well, he hit me. I guess I'm gonna have to block the next attack. You know, yeah, I need to do that more. It's, We're like, you can get antsy and want a jab, but uh, right. if, if you're not gonna land it, you're not gonna land it. Like, <laughs> you know, like it's sometimes just... you have to take the bad situation regardless because mm -hmm. otherwise you're just gonna get punished. Yeah, that, that's a hard habit yeah. to break you out. You don't want to get punished twice. Yeah, right, right, exactly.